Lawmakers today heard over two hours of public comment on the lack of funding for a school choice program aimed at helping low income kids attend private schools. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Peguero has both sides of the issue. Governor Joe Lombardo was asking for more than $3 million in COVID relief funds for opportunity scholarships. And today, lawmakers are still in a meeting that began this morning considering his request. We've been fighting the fight since day one and we'll continue to fight the fight as we move forward. This was a battle, Governor Lombardo. There was never, ever, ever, ever a discussion that... And Democratic leadership had been waging for several weeks. I can see how much better the education and opportunities are for my son. And it came to a head on Wednesday as dozens of people lined up to give their opposition or support for opportunity scholarships. Let's keep this money right where it belongs and do the right thing for our students. Let's not do something foolish and throw away the money, this money to fulfill a campaign promise. If you really want to help low-income families, then you will fund the opportunity scholarships. The program gives low-income students money to help them attend private schools. Lombardo stated 700 kids could be impacted if funds aren't added. Wealthier families can flee a failing public school and choose a better environment for their children through charter or private school options. Less fortunate families are relegated to whatever school is assigned to them. Everything we've heard today, all the statements, just reinforces the need to uh, give more funds to our public schools. Now, Democrats have previously criticized the governor for not addressing this during the legislative session, a comment the governor has said wasn't accurate. Reporting in the newsroom, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now. Joshua, thank you. The Opportunity Scholarship Program started back in 2015, and students who are eligible could receive up to $8,700 tuition.